Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Group Monitoring with Monitoring Configuration Service video. In this video, I'll show you how to use Monitoring Configuration Service to copy tested configuration profiles to a USM group in a production environment. Suppose you have 60 Microsoft Windows servers grouped by location. You want to monitor their CPUs and see alarms when CPU usage reaches 85%. You have limited time and resources, so you want an easy way to apply the same monitoring configuration to servers in the Boston, Dallas, and Denver groups. And you want to start collecting data once the configuration is applied. With MCS, you can create and test a configuration profile for a test device. If the alarms and metrics generated for the test device are as expected, you can copy the tested configuration to the Boston, Dallas, and Denver groups. Shortly after MCS deploys probes and applies configuration to the devices in the group, you can verify the generated metrics and alarms. We'll begin by accessing Unified Service Manager. The Susan Hub device is my test device, so I'll select it in the left pane. I'll click the Monitoring tab to access Monitoring Configuration Service. Here we see there are two configuration profiles applied to this device. We'll take a quick look at the CPU monitor configuration profile. Here we see the configuration. Now I want to see the generated alarms and metrics, so I'll click the Alarms tab. We can see that the configuration is generating an alarm when CPU utilization is above 2%. I set the threshold to 2% so we could see alarms immediately. I clicked More and then the Metrics button to verify that the metrics generated for our test device is as expected. I clicked the Monitoring tab to return to the CPU Monitor Configuration Profile. Now we're ready to apply the CPU Monitor Configuration to a group of Windows devices. To start the copy operation, I'll scroll and select the Copy option. The Profile Copy fields appear. This is where I'll specify the target for the copy operation. The first two fields are read-only. I see the configuration profile I'm copying in the Profile field and the Source device in the From field. Notice the To Device field is red. This means it's a required field. In the Target Select field, I'll specify that the target is a group. In the To Group field, I selected the Colorado Production Group. Now that I've specified the target information, I click Save to save these settings and start the copy operation. The copy operation copies the CPU monitor profile from the Susan Hub device to the Colorado Production Group. As part of the copy operation, MCS also deploys probes if needed and applies the copy configuration profile to all member devices. When I select the Colorado Production Group, I see that there are two profiles for this group. The device type profile is required for each group. When you select a group for the first time, MCS requires you to select a model device for the group. Then MCS creates a device type profile. MCS uses the model device to figure out which profile types to display for a group. You use the displayed profile types to configure monitoring for a group. Notice the lock icon next to the CPU monitor profile. The lock indicates that MCS is still copying the CPU monitor profile to the group. When the lock disappears, I select the group CPU monitor profile and scroll to the profile status. Notice that this configuration profile was applied to three devices in the group. When I select a device in the group and scroll down to see the profile status, I see that the copied CPU monitor profile was successfully applied to this member device. I also see that the CPU monitor configuration profile is derived from the group profile. This means that any configuration changes I make at the group level are applied to all devices in the group. Now I'll click the Metrics tab to see the metrics generated for a member device. The metrics we see look correct. This is our confirmation that the CPU Monitor Configuration Profile was successfully applied to a member device in the production group. Once member devices have the group configuration applied, you can manage the configuration for all member devices from the group level. Managing and troubleshooting configurations from the group level allows you to make changes from a single location. For more detailed information about CA Unified Infrastructure Management, refer to the CA DocOps platform or visit the CAUIM community to join in the discussion. You can find the links in the YouTube description located below this video.